It's been a crazy week. Where do I even start? Well, the other day, Noah went all the way to Uncle Roy's house and told him I was here and said that he was right and that being here wasn't good for me and that I did in fact belong with him. He was of course delighted to hear this and he and Noah came all the way back here. Aunt Matilda was, of course, quite surprised to see him when he showed up at her door. Noah showed him to my room, and there he was. He said that Noah had showed him my published work and remarked on how much smaller my room here is than my room at his house. Then he sat down and offered a deal. I would come back to the house with him, and aside from my time spent tending to my duties, he would let me write as much as I want, but no more getting published. He said it was either that, or he'd bring Miss Sherwood back, and things would become even stricter than they were before. I told him I would take the deal, but that first I needed to know what he had to do with what happened to my parents. I said that I couldn't go back to living with him until I knew the whole truth. He reluctantly agreed and proceeded to tell me everything. He said he knew that he had to take me away from them or else this family would soon collapse and our precious image would be ruined. So he hired an associate to gather evidence for the court as to why I'd be better off in his custody. He never told him to kill them, but when he couldn't find any, that was what he did. When I asked him how he then got the court to send me to him instead of Matilda, he said that he simply presented the case that because she lived so much further, it would be a smoother transition for me to come stay with him. And of course, he had to add that the court was in his favor from the beginning because he had a full family. A child is always better off being raised by a man and a woman than just a woman. But I said that was all I needed, and I was ready to go. But once we got into the hallway, I asked him what he thought the detectives would think if they heard what he just said. He seemed confused, so I pulled out the tape recorder that I had started recording from as soon as Noah knocked on the door. I knew he was going to tell him where I was, because it was all part of our plan. Aunt Matilda had reached out to the detectives that Uncle Roy had sent out looking for me and Noah and told them that we could get evidence that I'm better off with her than with him and asked them to come to her house and promised that if we couldn't get evidence within the next few days, then we would willingly go back to Uncle Roy. They agreed. And now that I had his confession on tape, all I had to do was show it to them. Before Uncle Roy could say anything, I bolted. Of course, he ran after me, but not fast enough. I ran and gave it to Noah. He showed it to the detectives, and Uncle Roy was arrested. I'm now able to live with Aunt Matilda in peace, and Noah's still staying with us. Hayden and Cornelius are still staying with Aunt Margaret. I don't know when I'll see them again, but I'm having the time of my life here now. It's a small town, so it was easy to get to know everyone pretty fast. Yesterday, some of us even did a play I wrote for the rest of the town and had a lot of fun with it. I hate the film industry, and I will cram my head in the crapper before I ever sing. But there's something about theater that just fits. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I'm home now. This is where I'm meant to be.